Hey guys, it's Nora. If you're new to the channel, I make videos about underwater metal detecting and treasure hunting. So if you're new, be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon so you stay notified for all my new videos. I'm currently hiking to a waterfall with crystal clear, light blue water. I'm gonna be using my metal detector to hopefully find some treasure. So let's hike down to the spot, get into the water and see what we could find. I think I see it. Where the hell am I? This is crazy, guys. I did not know there was a cave in here. Alright guys, I'm jumping in with the metal detector now. I found two Apple Watches already, so all I'm missing now is a diamond ring. Wish me luck.
Wow guys, what an incredible place. The water was crystal clear. It wasn't as freezing as the other spots, so that's a plus. So I got a mile hike to get to the car, and after that, it's actually over one hour of driving on windy, dirt slash rocky gravel road. And there's no guardrails, there's just steep drops, so it's really scary. So I'm gonna try to get out of here before the sun sets completely and I'll show you guys the finds at the house. And we're back. It's actually been over a week since I filmed the first part of the video because I wanted to give those Apple Watches enough time to dry out, so I put them in a baggie with some silica gel and hopefully that sucked any remaining moisture out of them. But let's take a look at our other finds first and then we'll attempt to turn the Apple Watches on. So first I have some coins, quarters, nickels, penny. Next we have this broken ring. It looks to be like a tungsten ring. There's no stamps or anything, but I believe that's what it was. Here we have a couple of bullets. They're very heavy lead bullets. This one looks pretty old. This one seems to be pretty old as well. I found this under the waterfall. I believe it's an ear gauge. Let me know what you guys think this is. And this is another ear gauge. You start by putting this here in your ear and you work your way up to this bigger size. And now for the Apple Watches, I have two Series 3 Apple Watches. This is a smaller face and this one's slightly bigger. I didn't know they actually came in two different sizes, but that's pretty cool. So here's the charger. I'm gonna start by putting this bigger one on. Let's see. Oh, whoa. Um, that doesn't look too good. I might have just fried it. We'll give it a moment. I was here earlier and no joke, a hummingbird was flying within inches of my face for 20 seconds, just looking at me and like turning its head. I thought they were scared of people. <laughs> it was so crazy. I was even talking to it, he didn't get scared and then he flew to the little feeder here and had a little drink. Out of these two watches, this one looked like it'd been there a little longer. So if this one works, I have very high hopes for this one too. <gasps> oh my God. This is not looking good. It was looking fine for a while, but then this is happening. It was in silica gel for 10 days. I made sure it was thoroughly dry. I kept in the sun. Oh, 
That is so weird. A little longer than a few minutes later. So it's been over 10 minutes. I'm going to try to press the power button again. Oh. Wow, it looks, looks normal now. Ooh, it's pretty hot. Oh, oh. Uh-oh, it's flickering, but we have a logo. What does that say? That's different. Maybe the person that owned this watch wiped it or something like that. And now you can't even power it on. I'm going to try to press the power button now. Mm. What? Oh my god, guys. This one is working. <laughs> That's crazy. So this one is password protected. I'm not seeing the pop-up like last time. Last time with Andrew's watch. A Find Mine Apple Watch thing came up and his phone number was there, so I'm not sure how to get in touch with this person if the watch is locked. I was just messing around with these watches and I happened to put the one from like three episodes ago on and the logo is showing up. It is blinking though, so I'm not sure what that means. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. Give it a thumbs up if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. Buy the merch if you want to support the channel. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye! I don't like waiting. Waiting sucks.